Hi, I'm Pascal Serraros from Pascal VR and in this video I'm going to show you the basic setup of uh, multiplayer virtual reality using photon networking in Unity 3D. For this uh, setup you will need Instant VR Edge version which is an uh, extension of the Instant VR Advanced version which uh, offers uh, in, uh, advanced things like uh, multiplayer networking and so on and advanced uh, physics. But in this case I will be concentrating on the first steps to set up multiplayer VR using Photon. I will discuss it uh, using a basic setup using the standard uh, grocery store demo and transform that into a photon setup. Uh, if you are interested in Unity networking there will be a different video which discusses use Unity network. So in this video I am concentrating on photon. So for this setup I am using my own computer here and for the other client I will use a virtual PC which is connected to the internet too so actually I can show you both uh, machines on the same screen which is convenient for a video like this okay so we start with the basic grocery store demo you will be familiar with uh, in the advanced version of uh, instant VR and we will transform that into a, a networking setup so first step we need to do is just remove the de uh, default avatar because uh, in networking the avatars will be uh, instantiated dynamically during uh, runtime. So instead we need a script which will connect to the network and instantiate our, our avatar. First we start with a networking game object. And now we need to, uh, to add the script for connecting to uh, the network. This script is already uh, uh, included in Instant VR. If you go to the Instant VR demo grocery store uh, folder, then you will find a networking folder which contains the PUN, the Photon Unity Net Manager Starter. And that we will apply to the networking game object. So now we have the PUN manager starter script, but it gives a warning. It says Photon Unity Networking not found. Please download the package from the Unity Asset Store. That is because I decided not to include the Photon networking software into the package because now you can pick up the, the most recent version from the Asset Store yourself and update it like you want. So now I'm going to the asset store where in my uh, recent downloads and I can find the package somewhere uh, Photon Unity Networking Free which is actually free to get from the asset store you don't need to pay for that and actually today there was an update notification that 1.75 was uh, released so I'm going to use that today and I'm importing that into my uh, package now the scripts, well, I, I will just import everything. Uh, the scripts will automatically detect that uh, the Photon package has been downloaded and you will see that this warning will disappear when everything has been included into the project file. So when this has been finished you will be able to uh, attach uh, an avatar to the script for instantiating so okay so we already see that the warning has disappeared but uh, we new, now see a wizard popping up because we need to set up our uh, photon unity account so I'm using uh, cloud um, networking clouds photon cloud and I will need an application ID for that you can get one for free from the internet uh, just by registering uh, on Photon and there you will get your application ID. It will be free for maximum of 20 users simultaneously so I'm using one of these free accounts uh, you can well you can you uh, create your own I don't suggest you should use mine because there's no sense in making use of my my uh, application ID you can just pick your own so you copy that application ID from your account and set up the project. So 
we have just set up. Everything in the photon surface settings has been set up automatically. I'm from the region EU, the European Union. So, but you don't need to, uh, to look at that. You just set it up and it works. We go back to our networking game object and now we see the pun manager starter has no warning anymore. We can set it up. We need to enter two additional things to start and which is a room name which is basically the room where all the networking clients will come together and will use the same environment and in this case I'm just using the grocery store name as the room name for this, this setup and I need to enter a game version well this is version 1 you can actually enter quite, a, quite everything with what you want in this uh, in these fields but it has to be the same for all clients. The last field we need to be looking at is the player prefab because we need to, uh, to choose an avatar which will be spawned at, uh, across the network. For this purpose Instant VR has in the prefabs for, uh, folder a networking section and it has the VR unit networking prefab this is meant for Unity Network, where no, you cannot use it for Photon because the Photon avatars need to be in a resources fo folder. So for Photon you need to look into the prefabs networking resources fo folder and there you will find the MH Make Human VR Photon sc uh, script or prefab. And this can be used to spawn uh, avatars across a network. And it has the required photon view, which is needed for, um, for the photon networking. So we're not going to look at that. But we are going to look at the photon avatar itself. Because the interesting thing is, is that it has two different avatars. One for first person and one for third person. And I can just pick them myself. The first person avatar is the, the prefab you're used to use in single player setup. So in this case we're just using the basic VR setup which uses Oculus Rift or HTC Vive or the consumer version of Oculus Rift. Uh, but you can use any other if you want uh, setup like with the Hydra, with Steam controllers or with Leap Motion, whichever you prefer to use. Uh, but that is actually, oh I need to go back to the prefab, sorry. That is actually the first person avatar uh, you are going to use. The other one is a bit more interesting because that will be the avatar the others will see when you're, they're looking at you. So the first person, this one, is uh, the one you will be using and the third person, I will put it next to the other, is the avatar the others will see and you can already see a difference between the two because the first person avatar doesn't have a hat you don't need a hat in the first person because you can't, cannot see your own hat but when others are, are looking at you you will need a hat because otherwise it would be looking very awkward so that's one difference between the two avatars already the second one is that the first person avatar, MHVR, has all the scripts needed for uh, tracking devices. In this case we are using Unity VR for uh, the Rift and Vive uh, head tracking and traditional input for, for game controllers uh, and keyboard input for, uh, for example or other tracking devices like Leap Motion and Hydra. When we look at the third person avatar it doesn't have the scripts because it doesn't need them. When you, uh, the avatar on, uh, on the remote client is just the, uh, driven by the networking messages. You don't need uh, your, your Hydra controllers at the remote client. So basically it just has the instant VR script and body movements so which is implementing all the inverse kinematics and other things, animations uh, necessary uh, to drive the body itself. So you can choose any avatar yourself for MHVR, but uh, sorry for a third person, but you must be aware that it does, shouldn't have any uh, tracking extensions attached to that. So now I'm just going to remove the two avatars 
from the scene because they will be spawned. We go back to our uh, manager starter script and now I'm going to uh, attach the uh, not the unit but the photon prefab to our PUN manager starter and there we are oh and where's my scene again here's the scene nothing to see still but now we can run the application and there is our avatar. Just like in a normal single player situation, it will look around, follow the, the tracker of the, the drift. But we also see that it has joined the grocery store room. So actually this avatar is now connected to the network, the internet, and other clients can connect to this avatar. So now we can go to our other client and set it up in the same way in order to, uh, uh, to have two clients communicating to, uh, with each other. So again here I will start with the basic grocery store demo. I will remove the default avatar. I create a name, an empty networking object, uh, a game object called networking. And I will attach the uh, PUN manager starter script. To the object. The groom name is the same, the grocery store. Uh, just, uh, just uh, if you wondered, this project already has been set up with the, the Photon uh, package, so I didn't need to, uh, to download it. it. It's already into the project uh, already. So you see, here you see Photon Networking, Photon Chat, so that's already set up uh, to make the videos a bit shorter. So back to the, the script, we need to choose uh, to uh, enter the room name. It has to be the same as the other client, grocery store, game version, version 1. And again, we need to play a prefab. And we're using the same prefab from uh, instant VR prefabs, networking, resources. And there we have the make human VR photon prefab. That's the same one again with the make human VR as first person and the and make human third person as third person uh, avatar. And similarly, we should be able to run this client too. This one, this is virtual machine, it's not connected to my uh, headset, but I can walk around using the keyboard. So now when I start the other two, I have actually two clients and you can already see that there are two players now. One for the virtual machine and one which is actually my own machine. And you can see they can free, uh, walk uh, around freely and when I look at the screen here you can see the other person walking around like you see here in real life, well virtual reality of course. So that's basically the setup, everything is settled again, um, uh, all the avatar co uh, uh, connections and grabbing an objects and throwing them in the wall, all, all works across the network so you don't need to do anything else, it's just basically creating uh, an object which spawns the, uh, the avatars and everything will be settled uh, for you automatically. So that is basically what uh, Instant VR Edge version networking is is pro uh, providing. Uh, it's basically a, a multiplayer setup for VR uh, out of the box and uh, it's very easy to set up uh, a, a social experience like that. So I hope you will uh, be having a lot of fun with that and uh, I'm looking forward to, to seeing your, your project using these, uh, these scriptings. Uh, if you have any questions, just contact me. I will try to do my best to help you forward. And uh, if not, I can pr improve my project uh, products, of course. Uh, so, see you later in the next video or in the email or support and so on. And so on. Uh, okay, thank you. Bye.